Recently, I watched Chompy and the Girls. Now, this is an absolutely absurd film that basically sees an interdimensional alien called Chompy, uh, or at least that's what he's crudely referred to as. We need a name for him. You cool with Chompy? Yeah, okay. By this girl that is trying desperately to get away from him, like all of my exes with me. Anyway. Uh, basically, he goes and terrorizes this girl and her newly found father. Uh, basically, it all kind of devolves from there and we figure out what is Chompy, who is he, and what exactly does he want. Now, the reason that I went and watched this film to begin with, I will be just very upfront, is because I posted a scene from it from uh like over to our shorts it looked like an absolutely insane movie and i just kind of had to share that scene with you guys and you guys have blown it the hell up it's the most viewed thing by far on this channel and you guys have been uh you know commenting about it all sorts of people from like all around the world are commenting about chompy so i figured i owe it to you guys to give it a watch and see exactly what the entire film is about whether it's good or not whether it's as funny as it looks to be and you know other aspects like that now, I will say that I am kind of pleasantly surprised, but also very much not. Now, this movie, I will say, I expect it to be complete dog shit. I really did expect it to be just awful because most of the time when you have schlocky movies or movies that are kind of like bad and they're, you know, lower budget and, you know, B movies, you know, these types of things back in like the 80s, 70s, 90s were top tier. Like if you go watch Motel Hell or some of these like B horror films, they're so absolutely amazing. However, when you watch like a lot of the ones that happened much more recently, like in the 2000s, 2010s, you get a lot more just straight up trash. It's not like funny or endearing anymore. It's just straight up boring or annoying a lot of the time. And so therefore, it makes it hard to actually watch these types of movies and actually have fun with them. It was much more fun than most of them tend to be, uh, honestly. And on top of that, I think that there was some decent like comedy acting going on here. However, it is still quite boring. It doesn't go anywhere near some of that good old schlocky horror of the 80s or 90s. Oh my God. It still is sadly, you know, much, much worse than any of those and not in a good way. Overall, the film basically sees this young woman who reaches out to her father because, uh, you know, she never met him before. It's really weird because she apparently knew about him since she was a child and her mother knew about who he was, but just never reached out to him to let him know. The mom apparently told the daughter this and the daughter, you know, waited all these years until she's like 20 something in order to reach out to him. And that causes some issues in like the father's life and you are the father! I didn't even know you existed, and now, all of a sudden... He's really anxious, considering he just found out he has a daughter. But during this meeting of them, like, coming together for the first time, Chompy comes across the street and eats this little girl. Now, the entire thing then, like I said before, starts to kind of devolve from there. We start to see them running from Chompy. <laughs> For some reason, they like jump in the car right away and instead of running him over, they, they have multiple chances to run this man over. And they like refuse to ever try to harm Chompy in any way. They just consistently run. Uh, there are some of the funniest parts are like the implications of the film. For example, like Chompy will uh, apparently run all the way from like wherever he was to the house of the guy or his daughter. And basically he does so seemingly just in like a slow, jog fashion who is that where he is not like speed running he doesn't get in a car and i don't necessarily even know how he finds his way to their homes but he just like slowly like rolls up on them so there's like a scene for example where uh like basically chompy tries to go and attack the girl uh, she fans him off and then runs over to the father's house or like, you know, drives over there because he's like 30 minutes away. And after she's been at the father's house for not that long, somehow Chompy comes waddling up. I don't understand how the fuck that even happens considering he like is not moving that fast. And she states earlier that they live like 30 minutes apart. So I don't understand like he must be when we're not seeing him going like the speed of a cheetah. Damn that motherfucker run fast. You see that shit?
besides that uh you know as it goes on it really like shows its hand as a much more trippy like horror comedy i would say that this falls along the lines of like an lsd comedy there was like one ron perlman one that i can't remember the name of right now but it basically has kind of those like crude green screen backgrounds and weird plot points with weird voiceovers and interdimensional alien type stuff it's all that kind of strange weirdly heady kind of psychic delic comedy while then also just playing into kind of like this horror aspect of this big mouth guy that just is chasing them down and won't let them go now obviously the absurdity is what leads to the comedy and then also a lot of the comedic acting is what again holds the comedy together as well there are multiple points where the daughter will just behave in a really weird fashion or like at the end there's this scene where the 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 wife and this uh, her husband you know the dad basically announced that they're getting a divorce and they're like better off for it and they say it like so happily and the way that it's kind of delivered was very funny so there's certain aspects like that that i think that are funny but the biggest issue with the film is that it literally just it, it has nothing to really say or do you pulled a knife on my wife that kind of sounds like a dr seuss friend. Basically, it has that first gimmick of Chompy, this huge mouthed man eating this young girl. But as it goes on, it's clear that that gimmick is the only thing that they really had. And it is fun seeing his mouth grow to these gigantic proportions. However, like that only is really enough to keep you engaged for the first one or two times that it happens. After that, it loses its novelty factor. And so then we're left with a pretty mediocre story that doesn't really feel like it's going anywhere and doesn't have any real character growth besides like maybe some of the relationship aspects between the father and his wife and the father and the daughter. I know it doesn't make sense. Is this really your daughter? Now, there is also, spoiler alert, an actual thing going on with Chompy. Like, there's a reason he's going around eating these, like, little girls, and that's why it's called Chompy and the Girls. <laughs> Basically, Chompy is the good guy, and he is going around and eating these girls because they are parasites. They are parasites that go up to other, you know, people and turn them into other little girls that look exactly as the one girl that he ate the first time around. We see there's a quick moment where basically the father is left with this girl, and so she kind of starts to attack him and take over him and you know morph him into a little girl uh, so much so that his foot is turned into the foot of a little girl however uh, like that kind of just goes to the wayside and they don't really bring that up again afterwards I don't know if like when he basically then finds Chompy and asks Chompy like hey that little girl attacked us what's going on which I don't know why they didn't try to talk to Chompy like earlier there was no reason for them to just immediately run I mean I guess it's like hey that's pretty terrifying but like I, I would just expect that I'm being fucked with I would expect it was like some gag and that I'd be like, yo, man, what the fuck did you just do? Like, what is this like a, a bit? What is going on? A and then, you know, whatever he tells me, hey, dope. I think we are in for quite an interesting night. But obviously now for some reason they decide, hey, let's talk to him. And he starts to explain that, yeah, he's just like trying to protect the people of earth because if you know this uh girl it turns every it keeps turning people into little girls everybody on the planet will become a little girl he also says that like he's not there to harm anybody and that he also is trying to keep his cover i don't understand how he was trying to keep his cover if he like literally just went up and ate this little girl in front of these two people just in broad daylight like you're not doing a very good job of trying to keep your shit hidden but that's kind of the story of Chompy and the girls. It's like a very stupid and honestly what sounds like now that I'm describing it, it sounds like it's about a 15 to 30 minute short film. It doesn't sound like you would get much more than that out of this. However, it is like a full hour and 40 minutes. It is a pretty decently long film. And there are, again, little jokes and things like that that they try to add throughout to make like the justification for its runtime. But it just doesn't work. There's no point here that I feel like, oh, yeah, this you know needs to continue dragging on it could have been all told in a much quicker more condensed manner so have you guys seen Chompy and the Girls? Did you like it or did you dislike it? Let me know in the comments down below. Besides that, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. That'll pop up during the outro. And the rest of our links are down in the description too. We have gaming sessions for gaming content, movie sessions for trailer content, smoking sessions for movie news and reviews, and crazy Rocky variety content, and the Tri Podcast for our podcast channel. All right, guys. I'll see you all in the next one.
spell or a chance just to open up a new occurrence. If I swim too far, then my head goes under. If we take it as it is, then there ain't no wonder. It's hard to imagine.